Alrighty, we are back here at home in Brooklyn. Had a great time in Austin as well as in Louisiana, uh, but we're home sweet home and it's time to continue with WTF. Today we got a comment, H-A-M-E-V-1001 writes in and said it would be really fun if you would cover tonic water in the future. It's really that sort of food that people know about, but they don't really know about its history or what it's made from. Perfect for WTF. I couldn't agree with you more and that's why it's today's What's This Food? Today's sponsor is Stagecoach Sauces, and you can check them out online at stagecoachsauces.com. Now, Stagecoach makes a bunch of different types of sauces. They have this really great mustard base sauce, which is their Carolina style barbecue sauce. If you don't know, it's traditional to have mustard based barbecue sauces in Carolina. They also have a great steak sauce and a bunch of other different flavors of sauces. They're all natural, allergen free free of high fructose corn syrup. It's all good stuff and delicious taste. Check them out online at stagecoachsauces.com and give their sauces a go for your next grilling or barbecue adventure. All right, so today we are talking about tonic water. Tonic water is a carbonated beverage that you can get in almost any grocery store. You can get it near the aisle that has seltzer water or really right next to seltzer water. Tonic water is something commonly used in a very classic alcoholic cocktail called a gin and tonic. It's 50% of that drink. Historically, tonic water is basically just made of water that's carbonated and quinine. Now, quinine is a crystalline alkaloid. And what it basically does is um, provide a bunch of medicinal purposes. It's an anti-malarial. It also helps to relieve tense muscles and it can also reduce fevers. The drink has a slightly bitter taste to it, which is why it was called tonic water. And it is most popular in India where it came from as a way to fight malaria. Now today when you go to the grocery store to buy tonic water, you're going to notice that it actually has some sweetening agents inside. It might be corn syrup or sugar. This is to help cut the taste of the quinine. You see, originally tonic water was a medicinal product and quinine does not have the best taste. It's pretty sharp. So they added sweeteners to help cut the really bright flavor of the quinine. Uh, and that's what you're going to get at most grocery stores. Of course, you can get some high-end versions of tonic water that just have quinine in them um, either way. Uh, and also, a really interesting fact is that the gin and tonic was not just a fun cocktail. People introduced gin to the quinine water to help cut the flavor and make it more palatable to consume when you're fighting malaria. Of course, over time, people started to enjoy the flavor of quinine in the beverage. I know that I love tonic water. I drink it a lot just by itself without the gin, though the gin helps. Fun fact, quinine is very sensitive to UV rays and UV light. So if you make a gin and tonic and put it under a black light, it's going to glow in your hand. Another fun and interesting facts, ladies, Quinine is a great muscle relaxer and it's often recommended that people drink quinine-based beverages when they're suffering from cramps as it helps alleviate a lot of muscle pain. Now, while a lot of people don't like the bitter taste of tonic water, I really like it. And so I'm going to actually kick it up a notch, make it a little bit more bitter, but balance it with a little sweetness and make a classic drink sans alcohol called bitter lemon. Of course, if you want or need the alcohol, you can add it yourself. Start by rubbing the rim of a glass into some mint leaves and then dip the mint leaved rubbed rim into the plate of sugar. Place the mint in the glass followed by some ice cubes, some lemon juice, and then some tonic water. Serve and enjoy. That's it, super, super simple recipe. Now you can omit the sugar on the rim if you don't want it to be super sweet, totally cool. Um, and you can also add simple syrup to the whole thing if it's not sweet enough. Either way, make it your own. I think this is a really refreshing summertime drink. You can add some alcohol to it if you want. You could even put it inside of a squirt bottle if you're running and kind of make your own uh, refreshing running drink. I don't want to call it. Really simple recipe and it's today's WTF.